I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. Mammoth Resources, a precious metal mineral exploration company focused on acquiring and defining precious metal resources in Mexico and other attractive mining friendly jurisdictions in the Americas, reported results from an internal study conducted by company geologists. This video is produced and distributed on behalf of Mammoth Resources. The report covers the company's 5,300 33 hectare Teneriba gold property located in the Sierra Madre precious metal belt in southwestern Chihuahua State, Mexico, which is subject to a 2% net smelter royalty purchasable for $1.5 million U.S. anytime within two years from commencement of commercial production. Thomas Atkins, President and CEO of Mammoth Resources, has joined us to discuss this report and the company's future plans. Welcome, Thomas. Thank you, Cassandra. Mammoth announced this past Wednesday the calculation of just short of a 2 million ounce gold-silver exploration target at our 100% owned Teneriba project in the prolific Sierra Madre region of Mexico. In the Sierra Madre, we're surrounded by multi-million ounce deposits owned by multi-billion dollar market value companies. You can see in this image that the drilling indicated by the blue, green, and orange triangles that this occurs in three areas along a large six kilometer trend of mineralization. Thousands of sample results guided the calculation. Surface soil samples, rock chip and sawn, channel samples, drill hole samples, geophysics and geological mapping. And yet beyond the near two million ounce target, there's additional evidence in hundreds of other samples of gold, silver, and even copper mineralization in areas outside of the 2 million ounce target along the same trend. So beyond all the results that enabled the calculation, there's reason to have confidence the target can grow beyond the 2 million ounces. We're in the process of firming up quotes for the cost of drilling. Drilling to define the target is projected over three phases of relatively short holes because our initial focus is on the near surface material. Once we have these quotes, we study the cost relative to the target potential. Now we're going to announce these costs, and I feel confident that the potential that exists in the current target relative to the cost of drilling, that investing to define this target is going to be very compelling. I think the period coming up as we start to drill this target has the potential to offer the most attractive return on investment the company has ever had the past years we've been advancing the project. And if this drilling coincides with the rising gold price, well, the investment opportunity is terrific. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Thomas. $6.5 million Canadian has been spent on the property to date, including 55 diamond drill holes totaling 7,500 metres, 48 of which were potentially economical, testing areas along a 4-kilometre trend to 150 metres depth. Results range from 24.7 metres, grading 4.0 grams per tonne gold, to 126.8 metres, grading 0.52 grams per tonne gold, with an average grade of 0.65 grams per tonne gold equivalent using a 75 to 1 ratio. Richard Simpson, Vice President Exploration and the company's qualified person added, this study acts as a guide in determining the risk reward to further investment at Tenereba to define this resource. We initially began looking at a global oxidized mix oxidized sulfide domain together with all sulfide mineralized intervals in determining the exploration target. It too was a large number of gold equivalent ounces, however when we saw the high recoveries of gold so Silver in the near surface, oxidized mixed oxidized sulfide material from the preliminary bottle roll tests, we felt it would be better to separate mineralization into the two domains. We believe there's excellent potential to define a sizable mineral resource in low cost near surface drilling of the oxidized horizon, especially in our initial phase drilling at Carneritos.
For more information, please refer to the company's news release. Mammoth is seeking other opportunities in the Americas on properties it deems to host above average potential for economic concentrations of precious metals mineralization. The shares are trading at two and a half cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, mammothresources.ca. Contact Thomas Atkins, President and CEO at 416-509-4326 or by email at tr underscore atkins at rogers.com. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.